Hey you guys, it's Michelle here. Thanks for joining me today and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to decorate my dashboard spread for social media. All right. And what I want to use for this spread is the brand new book from Live Love Posh, The Autumn Blooms. I used the Hello Fall book in my um, classic spread, like my catch-all planner, but I'm going to use some of these beautiful florals for this spread. These are really pretty too. I think I'm going to use these. And these are those ones I, I did the I flipped through of this book and to me I said these remind me sort of like a fairy tale kind of magical design. So I'm going to pair these with the Stargazer quotes and maybe boxes. Maybe I should put down a little bit of floral first. What I want to do first is go ahead and wipe these sections out. I think I'll start with this smaller piece right here. Actually, I'm going to use the corner piece first. So I'm going to put it over here. And then I'll just trim that other part off. I'm going to go ahead and wipe this out too. I'm going to put this piece that I trimmed off of there at the top of this page. All right, and I'm going to use some of these purple stars next. Just kind of scattered across the top of the page. Maybe just a few more on the other side. These are kind of a purple foil. I don't know how they're showing up on camera, but they're so pretty in person, and I think they look so pretty with these flowers. Just one tiny scrap I'm going to just add up there. All right, and now I want to go ahead and put a little bit over here in the corner. So I think I'll do... That piece is the exact same as this one, but smaller, so I don't want to use that one. Hmm, let's see. How about this one? This one and this one. here. I'm going to add this one like this and then kind of frame it with this one.
Mm, I'm not sure if I like that one there because it doesn't, it kind of goes off into the box and takes up a lot of its room. So what if I just use this to make that corner? I think that works just fine and let's see what else we want to do I was kind of thinking about bringing in some of these I don't know some of these leaves not the green but these just a few mixing them in let me see what that would look like I might trim that right here so I can use it in two different places. And have that one like that. And let's see, I like that mixed in with that. I think it looks like it goes just fine. So over here I need a little bit of it too. So I think I'll add this one here. that one up top there trim off the excess okay what if I do I'm gonna switch back to a little bit more of these flowers I'm gonna take this one here rest of this I'm going to just carry on over here just put that right there that scrap then I feel like I need a little something of like these mixed in with this one for balance just going to add those up here this little scrap that's left over from that one let's do a little bit more of this floral over here right here not a lot just a teeny bit just like that much all right I'm loving it I don't know about this yellow though I think I'm gonna cut that yellow flower out and add a different color flower because it's the only one here and I don't really have enough to spread out and I kind of like the, just the purple and pink so let me take this up. I'm going to just lightly cut it while it's on the page here. And I will definitely still be able to use it somewhere.
All right, so how about instead of that one, I do this one. And then I'll just have to scoot this purple down a little bit. All right, there we go. Okay, and now let me get a little something to put in. Let me do this thing. I think that looks pretty. And then maybe I need one more. The, these stickers by themselves are not my favorite, but I think they're so pretty with this. So if you have a sticker book that you're not like super crazy about, think about how you can mix it in with something else. I'm gonna cut this sticker a little bit because I want it kind of blooming out from from here. And then I'm going to use this scrap. Hmm. Where do I want to use that? I think I'm going to put it right up here. I'm going to trim off a little bit off the top and just put it right up here on Tuesday. So I'm almost done with the flowers. I think I just want to sprinkle a few, maybe one right here. Actually, since this one's a little bit more muted, I'm going to put it down here by these, closer to these, and then this up here because that just seems to balance out better. So I'm going to cut this in half and use it twice. This one on Tuesday. And then the other one. On Sunday there. I might want to add a little bit up here too though. Let's see what I have left. First I'm going to put this scrap here. This was left over from that one when I cut it. All right. I'm going to just trim off a little bit of this to use up there in the corner. And then I've got this scrap also. I want to go back to those stars. Right here. And use a few more of those. Just like around the flowers. Then I'm going to put this here. All right, I'm going to hold off on the stars for a minute because I might want to use some around the quotes. Okay, let's look at this one that says, don't forget how wildly beautiful you are. I think that might fit really well right here. I think that actually fits perfect. And 
and then I'll just do a few more stars around it and I didn't put any stars by these flowers too I just realized more of these. I don't really like the ones that are the constellations as much. I just want to stick with the stars. I mean I like them but not for this. Okay, now I'm going to grab some boxes. I don't know that I'm going to use, I'm going to use some of these, but I'm going to grab first this Jewel Tone boxes because it has this light lavender in it and I think it's so pretty. And I want to use that up here to label these. about using the boxes in the stargazer for the rest of the spread. I just didn't have any small ones in there. All right, what about just these little I'll use these little shapes. This one that says today up here. Then I've got a gray one. That I could use over here. I'll use a pink one down here. I think I'm going to move the quote up here to this section and use this for my real section like I usually do. the stars back around it. All right, now I'm going to do some boxes down here. I don't think I am going to use these boxes after all because I don't know, they just it's bothering me now that they look too different. So I'm going to go back to this one. little flowers or something right here and then something up here like a little label or something so 
back to the flowers. Back to these. That kind of fits perfect right there, so I'm going to use that. And it covers up that white out, which kind of bugs me a little bit. And let's use this one. I'm going to put this one right here. Okay. Put, add some more of these along the sides. Okay, and maybe now a little bit of flower action. Just fill in the sides a little bit more. Might as well go ahead and just do it all the way across. Why not? Okay, now I have a complete border all the way around, practically. There's a teeny bit of yellow in there, but that's okay. I, 
think what I want to put up here are some more of those stars and then add some bullet points and this one's going to be all set for the week. And I like this that says note to self also. And okay, back to those stars. top okay and now I'm going to do some of those bullet points that came with this pack I think I like the purple and I'm going to do the circles or hexagons. I don't know. Maybe circles. Let's do the circles. I'm going to put a couple on Wednesday and a couple on Thursday and Sunday. One more small quote. I kind of like this. Just breathe. Maybe over here. Along with this cluster. What if I move the note to self? And then I'll put note to self over here. Okay, and now that I have that, I kind of want to use one more. So sorry you guys, my iPad had stopped recording when I checked it. And I did a few finishing touches. Let's see, the only thing that I didn't get on film was, I, did, I added some flowers around the, this little box cluster. I think these and this and just a few more little finishing touches but I am done with the spread I really like the combo for something different I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my posts and I'd love to see you in the next video bye